Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from C Brown 8403 Good afternoon to whoever may read this post. Me and my partner live in a four-bedroom, two-bath house. It is a split-level home. We have three dogs already. We're renting out two of the rooms in our upstairs. One is pretty large. Both rooms are being rented out unfinished. The other room is smaller, but with a large closet and a large balcony overlooking the backyard. We both are drama-free, and whomever rents the room must be as well. The larger room without the balcony is $400 a month, all utilities included, with a $350 deposit and must sign a 6-month lease. Also, must provide own AC for the room. There is a washer and dryer you will have access to, and a bathroom upstairs for your use. The second bedroom is $350 a month, all utilities included. Unfinished must also provide own AC for that room as well, and a $250 security deposit and a 6-month lease you must sign. There will be a background check on each individual wanting to rent any of the rooms, and must have proof of income, and have been at your job for at least 3 months. No pets allowed, due to there being 3 dogs here already. We are also running a special. If you want to rent both rooms and make one a living room or whatever, we're offering both rooms for $650 a month, all utilities included with a $200 security deposit. And a 6 month lease, you can have no more than 2 guests over at a time and no one over after 11pm. No exceptions. No overnight guest, the common areas are the kitchen, the dining room, and the basement where the washer and dryer is. The backyard is off limits because it's for my dogs, not the future tenants. Also, the living room is off limits except to pass through when coming and going. No coming and going all hours of the night due to we both work and do not want to have to hear people coming and going at all hours of the night. When I get home, I want to kick off my shoes and relax on my couch in peace and quiet. That is why my living room is off limits. Do not want to have to tell someone to get out of my living room or off my TV. There is internet included as well. If you have any more questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me via email or by phone. My name's Jay, and you can call or text me at here. Thank you for your time and have a blessed day. I understand that people, if they have a spare room, might want to rent it out, but what they're wanting and what they're offering, I just, I don't feel like it's fair for the tenant, especially considering there's a lot of restrictions for the amount you're paying. This next one is by Renai says, Yes? How do I go about getting one? Sure. Alright, I'll let you be my thumbnail guy when I start uploading. I'm waiting on Rylux right now. <laughs> He's making my skin. He's making it in the hive style. You said one. Oh, I'll use you once and throw you away like a condom. Use? Is that what you want? <laughs> bro. Yes, bro. Do you really think that's a good way to ask something for free? We all know it's not a good way to ask something for free, but apparently this person does. And I, I've said it so many times, when you start trying to insult people, <laughs> you're not going to get what you want. This next one is from Tropical Wildflower. Do we have any budding law students in location? I'm in need of someone who has time to research some documents and gather some data from them for me. I can't pay, but the learning from the research will be invaluable for any budding law student. Thank you for reading this post and message me if you would like to know more. For the amount of money that people in law make, the person that's asking for this work, if they're literally at the top, they're a fucking disgrace and should just step down and remove themselves from the bar. This next one is by Sam Greenaway. Nobody buying from registry. I have two baby showers coming up this weekend and not even half my guests who are coming from either one have purchased anything from my registry. I'm not trying to sound greedy, but it's stressing me out that there's still a lot of things I'll need to buy before baby arrives. I know Amazon delivers fast, but the showers are only three to four days away. I'm also a bit annoyed because many of my super close friends haven't gotten anything either. 
Some can make it and some can't, but I would 110% send my friends something for their baby even if I couldn't make it to the shower. It just makes me feel like my little guy is an afterthought, if even a thought at all. People like to gift what they want to gift, and it doesn't always come from the registry. Some people make things, some people pick clothes they like, some people have a favorite product from when they had a baby, etc. A baby shower is to shower you and the baby with love, and the plus side is a lot of people bring gifts. It's not to supply your child with everything they'll need. That's yours and your significant other's job. I'm going to assume good intentions, even though your post kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Of course anything we get is very thoughtful. I'm a first time mom, so I just thought it was odd that our registry is still very full, so close to the baby showers, and was asking if that's normal. Our wedding registry wasn't this way, and that's my only other experience with this kind of thing. Thankfully, my husband and I are very financially secure and can afford things for the little guy. However, I'm sure there are other mamas out there that may depend on family and friends to help them get some of the things they need. Babies need a lot of things and it quickly becomes overwhelming for most moms to be. If you don't feel that way, then more power to you. The luxuries people have to complain now. I'd love to see this mom try to have a conversation and bitch to a cavewoman. She'd probably club the shit out of her head. This next one is from Darb CU. I hear they don't let you fish on their lake, even if there's no ceremonies going on. Selfish. Nice lake gone to waste. Edit. No, I don't want to plan a wedding. I just want to fish on your lake. Let people fish on your lake. Why do you guys care so much if people fish on your property? Perfectly good fishing lake gone to waste. You don't need a lake for a wedding, but you do need a lake to go fishing. Stop being selfish and letting your lake go to waste. Hi Matt, we're a privately owned property that specializes in weddings. If you'd like to plan a wedding and see what we really can do, please feel free to reach out. You know, with how much Matt keeps talking about that lake and wanting to fish in the lake, you'd think that he'd make the arrangement so he could marry the fucking lake. This next one is by Disgruntled Pelican. $100, MCM, Mid-Century Modern, Ottoman Footstool. Beggar offered you $50. You declined Beggar's offer. Sorry for such a low offer, but for reproduction, that is all I can pay. I recover furniture for a living. I buy pieces, recover them, and resell them. I hope you will reconsider and accept my offer. Thank you. Let me get this straight. You're asking to buy my item for half the asking price so you can turn around and make a profit? We see all these elaborate plans that beggars think up and try to formulate, but in this case, I just don't think they had any plan outside of trying to be straight and hoping the person would go for it. And our final one is from Miss Vixen 89 I was fresh out of a doctor's appointment and on my way back to work, only enough time to stop by a local grocery store to get a few things because it was going to be a late work night at the office. When I finished my visit at the store, I'm on my way out to my car and get stopped by a woman. Excuse me, can you help me? I have no money and I'm living in my car with my kids and we are hungry. We just escaped a bad situation. I'm glad you got out. Um, is thinking and surprised to be approached randomly. Yeah, I can get you something quick. Looks at the subway, knowing it will be quick and filling. Let's go in subway. Um, actually, can we get something else from the Mexican cantina? I don't like the bread from Subway. Oh, um, well, I'm in a rush. Very unsure how to respond and is trying to think. Gets interrupted. Oh, that's okay. If you have any loose money, I swear, I'll go in and get the food for my kids and I. I unfortunately don't have loose money and only my card. But if we go in Subway, they have more than... It's the bread, it just... I can't. I swear, they're fast putting together food at the cantina. I really can't and don't have time. Think how else can I quickly help her and her kids. What about the deli section in the store? I need to be back at work. I'm sorry. Really, the cantina is fast. Maybe you can pull money out at the ATM. I'm sorry, I'm late back to work and I don't have time for the cantina. 
I then proceeded to walk away and all I could think of was how could you be hungry and choosy, especially when you have kids. Update, I offered things as well from the grocery store deli section and she said no, on the cantina and yes, she had kids with her and I saw them. It's people like this I just don't understand fully, especially how they can be parents and allow their kids to go hungry because food that's being offered isn't to their personal preference. I, I don't know, I just feel like if you're starving and you're hungry and you have kids, you'll take what you can get. Good on you for trying, bad on that parent for letting our kids starve. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.